everybody and welcome to my updated tutorial of my flux fire buggy I know some of you have been asking for a commentary uh, tutorial for this buggy and I know expert has been waiting uh, excitedly for uh, the updated version so I said that I'd do it this weekend so uh, here we go this is this is the updated buggy it's got eight t10 plasma turrets on it I don't know if you could expand it anymore, I don't think you could fit any more in. It's got a couple of uh, hover blades, front and back. It's obviously got the wheels for redundancy. It's got T10, T9, uh, I think they're six, aren't they? It's T7 plate and uh, T5 at the front, are they? T5, yeah. Uh, it's still got the little wedgie front end, which I quite like. Uh, it's still got those electro plates over the pilot seat which uh, is kind of like a, a thing of my builds so uh, I don't know what that's doing there that's the wrong way around let's just replace that so uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna delete all of this and I'm gonna run through the uh, the build process with you so bear with me while I just get rid of this I'll take off all the the junk it's got some t10 thrusters there Obviously, two radars, which I, uh, I like for the redundancy. I think they stack actually the radars. I know the uh, receivers don't, but I think the radars do. So that's what the sort of like skeleton of the build looks like. So yeah, let me just if you hold down right mouse button, you can fast delete everything. So I'll do that now. middle mouse button if you press it down while you're looking at a, a block or something you'll actually uh, choose one of the same but I, I find sometimes it deletes rather than copies it so I'm gonna go six up so that's two three four five six and I always kind of start the back end just in between the end of this arrow so uh, that's the sixth one up this wants to be three wide there you go, and it wants to come 17, so that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. So that's 17 long from back to front. We'll do the same for the top. Obviously we don't need to count it this time because we've got that first one as a marker. Both sides. guessed it we're gonna do these last blocks as well so I've got 17 long two high three wide that's the core of the the buggy the, the chassis if you like now from this front end I'm gonna come one on the top there two out and one more so we've got like a little nub at the front there. I'm going to put two either side of that front end and then I'm going to do three out on either side behind that front one. Okay now we go back to the the back end. Now this wants to be five high this back so three four five and do each side so we've got three by five now now I want to put another couple either side because it's going to be seven wide eventually so there's another couple so that's two four six seven and three four five high so the top on either side at the back end we want to come three out one two three and then the next row down, another three out. One, two, three, one, two, three. Put one at the bottom there, one at the top, one at the bottom, one at the top. And we're going to build up a bit of the, the pilot seat is going to go there, so we're going to build a, a bit of a, a thing around it. So we're going to come too high 
three wide, two high, and then this bottom one, we're going to take it five wide, and one underneath. Okay, I'm not going to put the prisms in yet, I'll get the uh, all the blocks in, and then we'll put the prisms in. So, looking underneath, from the back, we want to count nine in. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'm just going to put one there as a marker for where uh, where that ninth block is. I'm not going to actually use that at the moment. So I'm going to come two out, two out, one top and bottom, one out, one out, one top and bottom. Same on the other side, two and one in front of it. So we can get rid of that marker now. Now I'm going to change to the prisms. And here we're going to smooth that edge off and then we're going to reverse the prisms and then reverse them again so we've got that kind of shape and we're going to do that on the other side so we'll make this a straight edge reverse the prism reverse it again Now the thrusters should fit quite nicely in there, so we'll try that now. Go on to movement, T10 thrusters, point it the right way, and it should put it as far forward as it'll go. Again, reverse it, so it's pointing the right way, as far forward as it'll go. Ooh. Now we want to go on to, we're still on movement, so we're gonna choose just the normal T10 wheels, not the steering wheels. And we're going to put them where they'll go at the back, which is there. One on the other side. So it's looking a bit like this now. Now we'll put the pilot seat in. And we'll go on hardware and get these T7 electro plates. We'll put those either side. I'm going to switch back to chassis and prisons and I'm just going to mould off those edges. I'm going to put uh, a couple on these edges here, edges of the back end. Two there. I'm going to put one there, one there, and the same on this side. And I want a block for the middle. Now here, we want a couple of blocks there, and then I'm going to bring those two up. Same on the other side, a couple of blocks, and then two on top. Now we want to switch to the hardware again, the T10 electro plates, and if we fit these on the, not on the very bottom one, but the next one up, get the right side, they should go in line with the the two blocks at the back end there should fit quite nicely in. So the other side, again, not on the bottom one, the next one up. And it fits quite nicely in. Okay, we want a block there which is going to have a plasma cannon on it. I'll place these plasma cannons, T10 plasma cannons, on the back first on the sides and I'll place one here. I'm going to switch to the block and then I'm going to come out a few blocks from there. And I think I'm going to come out four. Four from the thick the thick chassis at the, the front. So we've got uh, three, six four, four, and three in the middle, yeah. I'm going to put a run of blocks down in the middle there as well. Now I'm going to, from here, I'm going to come out, I think it's four or five, I think it's five, one, two, three, four, five, and then one up. So it's basically these corners of these blocks are touching. 
So, on the other side, one, two, three, four, five, one on top, and the corners are just touching. So I'm going to get some movement, I'm going to go for the T10 hover blades again, and I'm going to place those, I think I'm going to place them there. Not on, not quite on the, the last one, put the second one in. I'm going to place the hover blades on the back, and I'm going to place these as, as near as I can to that little lip of the T10, uh, are they T10? Yeah, T10 electro plates. There we go. While I'm at the back, I'm going to put the rest of the stuff on, which is a, a T9 receiver. I'm going to put that not as high up as it'll go, but one down. One down. And then I'm going to get the T9 radars and put. They'll not really go anywhere else, so they'll only go on those corners. That's the back end. <coughs> Excuse me. That's the back end finished. So we'll come down to these sides I'm going to go to hardware and I'm going to choose T9 electro plate and again I'm not going to fit it on the very bottom one I'm going to fit it on the next one up so that'll go there it should be just about in line with this T10 plate but not quite same on the other side I'm going to go to movement again and I'm going to choose the steering wheels and I'm going to choose not as far back as they'll go but the next one out so the third one from that arm not as far back not the next one the third one then I'm going to go to the electro plates again hardware T5 electro plates. Now these are the weakest ones on on the, uh, the actual build, but I quite like the the way they look on the front end, so we'll keep them there. To chassis and prisms again, and we'll just put three prisms on the front there on that little wedge. You could bring that out a little bit further if you wanted to. I'm going to also going to put some prisons just in these little gaps here, and then I'm going to get the T10 plasma launchers and place them either side, just on these back ones. And that is your build complete. Now obviously, you want to test that you've got these hover blades in the right place. Make sure it's nice and stable. I find if you put them too near the middle. Your, uh, your buggy will rock about and go a bit wonky. So I'm going to go to the practice arena and we'll see how it does. I'm only checking for how well it goes up. It goes up quite well and if I go forward it shouldn't dip at the front. I don't want it to dip at all when I go forwards. So yeah, that's quite quite good. That's quite stable spins quite well make sure uh, nothing catches when I'm driving around on the ground so yeah that's fine so we'll go back to the mothership <coughs> excuse me one thing I did forget we'll put it on now is the special T9 radar jammer now we know the pilot C is above this block and I always like to put a jammer on the block that's below the pilot C just for added armour I suppose so that's where I put my uh, my jammer and that is your flux fly flux can't speak flux fire plasma buggy the updated version with eight turrets hope you enjoyed it I hope you get on well played with it Thanks a lot, guys. Bye.